This is my Singer 403. And I'm going to do something that will surprise you all. I have just chain stitched on my 403. There was a question on some of the Singer Vintage forums about whether it was possible. And the answer is yes. However, it requires two things. First of all, a little bit of makeshift hook, which needs to be like that, and roughly level with the bend on the machine. And the reason I know this is because I have a Singer 411G, which has the hook built in, and it's at that height there, so you can see that there. So I've put that improvised hook there, and what happens is, as the thread moves down, it pulls it tight in that direction across the hook, and that's how it makes the uh, hook, the chain. So it pulls it tight in that direction and that direction, so that's why you need that improvised hook there. But also what I found is, let me just pull this off, okay, you need to change this part here, the bobbin race, because it has, let me pull this out. So what I found is the bobbin bit, this little bit here from the 411G, oops, sorry, is not the same as for the 403. It has this extra little bit in it. So there's the one that you need, which is a 50360 as opposed to that one, which is a 172042. And that's the difference, you need that. But you also need this foot, or this um, feed dog plate, which is 603, or sorry, 503599. I bought another one which I thought was actually the same and found out that they are not all equal. So this one is another option that you may see, but it does not fit. So if you see this particular one, I can't read the number very well. It, this bit is too big. That catches on the bobbin case. You can see how much smaller that one is. That one works, that one does not. So you basically get those two parts there, those two parts there, and put that little hook, and you can chain stitch on a 403. Which probably means you can do exactly the same thing on your 401.